Hey YouTube, it's your girl Chi back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can cache a React app bundled with Webpack for offline use. So I know um, out of the box Re Create React app already does this but this is for people who you know don't use Create React app or want to really understand what goes on. So um, I have uh, a basic a react app right here where I just do I just write hello world and I have some things in there um, I have my scripts I have a stats script to build for development and I have build for um, production so in my dev so let's run it uh, npm start and I go over here and I refresh and this is the basic app that I have and we want to be able to cache this so that when there's no internet the app works all right let's get on to it so what we're going to do is because I've done this in such a way that I have two different um, configs two different webpack configs for my development and for my production I found that that's easier for me to grasp and work with so I'm going to copy everything from here and put it over here for now and I'm going to change this to production all right and um, I have to put in a path here so that uh, webpack knows where it's supposed to dump you know the files that I'm working with so I'm going to do path dot resolve I'm going to do a directory name and dist I want it to be my dist folder so I'm gonna save so the next thing that we want to do is um, install a plugin called SW let me show it to you as this plugin SW precache webpack plugin and what it does is it will generate a service worker file using SW precache and add it to your build directory but I have to show you a caveat though um, here it says currently SW Precache Webpack plugin will not work with Webpack Dev Server. If you wish to test the service worker locally, you can use a simple Node Server or Python simple HTTP Server. I'm going to be using this because I already have it on my system. All right, so from here we're going to install. So npm install save dev. SW precache uh, webpack plugin. So while that is installing, I have my um, register service worker file here. And what this does is, if I'm in production environment, and if my serv if you know service worker is available in Navigator, it's going to um, install the service worker and print out a message that you know it's installed so here um, i'm going to have to import the service worker file here so the register service worker file register service worker um, register service worker and i'm going to call it down here sorry then i save all right, this is done installing. So let's look at the basic, how to use it. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. So copy this and I'll come to my production. Okay, this for now. And I'm gonna paste it here. Sorry. So this is your, um, what you want to name the cache. So I'm gonna call it offline app. And this is the service worker that's going to be created. Mind you, if you change this file name, you have to also update it here. Because, um, because this is going to be created in the build directory, which is going to be here, the dist. It's going to create it when we run npm run build. Um, it's going to create the service worker. And this um, register service worker has to be able to get this the same file 
So whatever you name, um, whatever you name the file here, you have to name it here as well. It has to be the same thing. If not, it's not going to work. I'm going to take this out and all right, save. Okay, now um, let's run npm run build and see what we get. Okay, there's an error. Oh, sorry, um, I forgot to import it here. So sw prepash is equals to require sw prepash. Cool, we have that installed. So clear this and run it again. All right, cool. It says the total precast size is about 111 KB for two resources, which is our bundle.js and our index.html. So as I said before, there's that caveat where it doesn't work with um, Webpack dev server, right? So it doesn't work with Webpack dev server. So I was going to see that the disk has been created, the disk folder has been created, which is a build folder. And it has service worker in here. It has the uh, bundle.js and our index.html. So I'm going to go into it. And it's there. And I'm just going to run Python a simple HTTP server. It's running on port 8000. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to run it. And it works. And we see here that I have this service worker file that has been registered, right? And in the cache, we have a um, bundle.js, which is our JS file, and an index.js file as well. So now we know that it works, this works online, right? So here we're going to toggle this and we're going to refresh and see if it works. And voila, it works. So we've been able to essentially cache the app and then make it work when it's offline. So I hope, um, you know, this was easy enough for you to grasp and I hope uh, uh, it helps you, you know, with your work. So thanks for watching. Bye.